Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and yes it has been absolute ages since I posted my last video and if you do follow my social media then I've been a busy girl and you'll know why. I feel like it's been a hot minute since I've put anything on my face so my face is going to get some love in, we're going to discover some new products, let's get on with it. So with that being said I am ready to get creative and discover some new products in the process whilst creating a autumnal makeup look. As yes, we have hit that sticky rough patch where we have now transitioned from the beautiful summer weather into a more autumnal fall. In whatever country you're in, it's cold. So ladies and gents, the products that we're going to be trying and discovering is from a brand called Art Deco. Now this particular brand is number one in Germany. Fun fact. And before we get into a makeup look, let's just read a little bit about the brand. So it says, Art Deco offers high quality decorative cosmetics and skincare products at affordable prices. Constant focus of individual wishes and needs for all women, combined with a unique assortment and a huge colour variety is Art Deco's secret of success. So I think I've read enough, I think that we know everything that we need to, so let's get straight into the makeup. So as you can see I've just gone ahead and done my brows and also some primer as we didn't have those products. So we're going to go straight into foundation and this is the Art Deco High Definition Foundation. It says it's the ultimate correcting makeup with a HD finish. Now this particular foundation can prevent that awful kind of flashback that you can get in photos. I know, it's unsightly and if this does what it says it does on the tin, then it's going to be a winner in my books. Okay so I'm just going to pump that onto the back of my hand. Wow, that looks extremely full coverage. Let's see if it translates that way on skin. That is just one dab of a sponge into the foundation on the face. I am quite impressed. I've still got a ton load of foundation on the back of my hand, but just one dab. I'm officially shook. So I would say that this foundation is a semi matte. It's not all matte but then it's not dewy either, but it gives you that lovely kind of flawless complexion glow from within kind of skin. And I love the fact that it's covering my freckles. So that's the only way that I can tell if a foundation is full coverage. Well, I am totally impressed so far. I feel like there is room to make it full coverage. However, from one application, it was more like a medium to buildable. Um, having said that, I could say it, you can build it up. The other thing that I'm super impressed with is the fact that it matches my skin tone. Most foundations I do find that I have to mix them in order to get my perfect shade because I'm not exactly sure what kind of skin tone I am. I thought I was rosy but then when I put a rosy tone foundation on it comes out too pink. It seems every brand has a rosy tone foundation and I feel like I'm gravitating towards that because I feel like that is my perfect shade but in actual essence I have got some yellow tones in there. And I don't realise it until I actually sit down and edit my video and I think, you know what, you do look like a little bit of a sim. Okay, so the next product from Art Deco is the camouflage cream and I believe that this is the concealer. So with it being called a camouflage cream, it actually is a camouflage cream. So if you have any unsightly tattoos, um, any birthmarks, any pigmentation in your skin that you really want to cover, anything like that, it is assumed to cover. And it does feel quite strange using a brush for concealer. But I suppose that's how we used to do it, we just need to get back into some old ways and be very open minded. And even though this seems very full coverage, it doesn't actually feel very heavy on the skin, which is something that I absolutely love. Now I've applied it with a brush and I'm just going to go ahead and bounce it out with a beauty blender as that's something that I always do. And I feel like this is going to be perfect for this as well. And I'm noticing as I'm blending this out that it's almost highlighting the skin and leaving it very radiant, which I'm all for. A girl can never get enough highlight. I think that's everything to say about this product. It would be ideal if it was in more of an applicator, but with the nature of the product, it is quite full coverage. So I do kind of understand it being in a pot or a tray. 
But we're not going to stop there. I'm now going to test the claim of whether it is full coverage, whether it does cover tattoos, pigmentations, birthmarks, and everything else. So, if you have been following my social media for a little while, you'll know that I recently got a tattoo. Yes, it is a paw print, and it's an association of my love for animals and all creatures, great and small. So as you can see, the tattoo is being covered up quite significantly. I do believe that if I add more product and do a little bit of building, then I believe that I can get it to more of a seamless finish where it does appear that the tattoo is no longer there. But I think for the amount that I actually used, I don't think it was that bad at all. I would be quite happy with that if I did have something along the lines of a birthmark or some pigmentation or some scarring. Quite happy with that result if I did have any of those skin conditions. So because I don't have any face powder from their collection, I'm just gonna go ahead and use one and then I'll be right back. Okay, so we're gonna be moving on to bronzing and sculpting. So I'm just gonna be taking a fluffy brush and I'm just going to swirl my brush into the powder and I'm just gonna start putting that all over my face. Ooh. Oh, that is beautiful. It's not too red toned because you've got the, the coolness of the other shade. And also it's not too ashy where you can't actually see it and you look a little bit dead. Well, don't I appear more efficiently awake? I am absolutely loving this bronzer. I love the fact that there's no shimmer in it, it's just your typical matte bronzer. And like I say, the two tone colours do actually complement the skin. So you've got the rosy glow, you've got the, the ashy tones. But I also do believe that if you just wanted to do a bit of contouring, just delve into one of those shades and it's a little bit more precise, it makes it a little bit more sculpted, you know, for those special glam moments. I actually feel like for once I've got the products in the right place and they don't look too garish, they don't look too heavy. It's just a nice subtle glow which also makes me look like I'm alive. Hashtag makeup done right by Rachel for once. <laughs> So now I'm going to be moving on to the eyes, so I'm going to bring you a little bit closer for that one. Okay, so as you can see, I've already done one eye off camera and I'm going to try and replicate this one on this one for you guys. So the first shade that I started with was this lovely taupey brown and this is in the shade 41. And I'm just going to use this as a transitional shade all over my lid. And as you can see, it's not really adding that much colour, it is actually quite muted, but it is very subtle, there is colour there, don't worry. And this is just going to make those colours blend into each other seamlessly. Okay, so next I'm going to be taking this shade here, which is this beautiful purple plum kind of shade. And this is in the shade 582, which does actually have a name this time, called Matte Smoky Plum, which is very idyllic. And I'm just going to be putting this on the outer corner and also on the inner corner. So when you've got your starter shape, then just go back in with that top colour that we first start with and blend like there is no tomorrow. Whilst I'm blending to the heavens, I'm pretty sure that I should just mention this. Not that I should mention it on every single one of my videos, though it does apply. I am in no way a makeup artist, this is a mini disclaimer. Everything that I do and everything that you see is all me and self-taught. But when it is something that you love doing, I find that that is the best way to learn by just doing it. Okay, I'm also going to be taking, as we do want it to be quite the smoky look, this matte smoky plum just on my lower lash line to add a little bit more drama. And if you do happen to get any fallout, well then that powder that you put down will just ensure that you wipe it away. Okay, so the part that I've been waiting for to complete this halo eye effect is just to put a shimmer on the lid. And I'm just going to use my finger to apply this onto the lid. Call me old fashioned, but I feel like that's the best way to get the pigmentation out of your colour. No precision whatsoever. Just pressing it onto the lid. I do actually like the fact that it's quite sheer. You can see my skin tone underneath this eyeshadow. 
But you know what? Pinks and purples and skin tone colours, they go together beautifully. So I'm not mad. And that one didn't actually have a name, it's just number 98 for those who want to look it up. Okay, for the inner corner I'm just going to be using the highlighter that I've actually got for the face. And just putting that right in the tear duct. Can't forget that brow bit. It's like a golden champagne colour when it comes into contact with the skin. Which, as you know, is one of my all time favourites. Okay, now I'm going to be moving on to lashes and I'm going to be taking the Lash Booster Volumizing Mascara Base. I'm not going to lie guys, I've always found these quite gimmicky, but this one does actually claim to lengthen and strengthen your lashes overnight, so it's more like a, an overnight treatment. But for the purpose of this video, we're also going to give it a try for the daytime. I feel like they are getting covered, although it doesn't look very consistent on my lashes. So now I'm going to be moving in with the Art Deco Amazing Effect Mascara Mini Brush and Maxi Volume. And this one seems a little bit smaller than the other one. I think the other one was just to get the product and coat the lashes, whereas this one's going to be a little bit more precise. I'm hoping so. It's definitely thickening. So it has definitely made a difference, however the lashes do appear to be a little bit too clumpy for my liking, but if you enjoy clumpy, glamorous lashes then this is going to be your thing. I'm just going to go ahead and do the other eye and then we'll get on to highlighter. Okay so mascara done, I'm now going to be delving back into that highlighter, just on a small brush and just doing the top of my cheekbones, top of my temple, around the sides, you know, everywhere. Not forgetting down that nose. I'm just softening that out a little bit. Okay, and finally for Lippy, an Art Deco have released a lipstick called Perfect Matte Lipstick, and this is in the shade Rosewood, which as you can see is this beautiful Burberry kind of shade. So let's give it a whirl. Hmm, not bad. Still little Rachel did forget to use the lip liner. So this is the lip liner in the shade 26, which is 26, <laughs> so so as you can see it's just added like a subtle dimension to the lips and yeah I really like it, as you can see it is fully matte. There is no sheen to it whatsoever. I normally just use lipstick, but I think I'm definitely gonna invest in using a lot more lip liners, as they just sculpt out the lips perfectly, and then you just basically have to fill a color in. <laughs> so guys, this is the finished look, and I really hope you like it. It's just this beautiful autumnal, almost like a smoky eye, with a little bit of halo going on, but very subtly. Um, I really love the highlighter. That shine um, and then we've gone for like a really nice bold lippy yeah I'm just over the moon with every product my favorite product has got to be the bronzer that shade of bronzer is just perfect for my skin tone and it's something that I don't normally find so that's why that one's getting a thumbs up from me um, the thumbs down I'm afraid does have to be the mascara like I say if you are a person that does enjoy clumpy mascaras then this is definitely going to be your bag however for me not too much but you can't have everything and it definitely performed well it did the trick it made them black um it's lengthened them but like i say i just i'm not for the clumpiness so guys i hope you enjoyed this video like i say it has been an absolute ages since i've produced anything like this and i'm really sorry for that i am trying to get back into a routine i know i keep saying that but my little boy is back at nursery so i do have the resolution for it if you did like it give it a thumbs up it's just one little click away and it does help me out a lot. And if you want to see more of these type of videos then suggest them in the comments below. Also hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and you'd like to see more of these looks. So guys, I think that's everything that I've got to say. I'm back and you'll be seeing more of me. Take care.